Hey everybody, Jeremy with Karma Event Lighting here. Uh, I just wanted to uh, kind of show you what I was doing here with Archaos. Um, no, normally I've always used Archaos Grand VJ with video mapper mode and I don't really use it in instant mode a lot. If I do, it's usually with one screen. And uh, if it's multiple TVs, it's just duplicated what's all over on the TVs. So in this setup, what I'm doing is I'm getting ready for a gig where we're going to have two screens, but I want different content on those two screens, but I want to be able to span it across as well. So and I've always done that with video mapper mode. So I was kind of you know thinking, is there a way that I can do this just in instant mode? And I found it. So check this out. So first off, you can see here's the laptop that I'm using. And uh, under preferences, I found out that, well, first off, let's see, I've got a mini display port and an HDMI coming out, and they're going to each of these screens, which will eventually be projectors, but you know, just for this test, the screens. So when I was in here, this is something kind of weird. I was under display preferences and under instant mode. You know, I've always been able to, I know when you choose your monitor here, you choose which one you want to output on. So, and a lot of times it'll actually tell you what it is, but this one here, so screen one, I think is here, and this is screen two, and no, no, this is one, that's two, and that's three, according to Windows. So in here, it's kind of confusing. So if you choose, you know, this one here, then it only plays on one screen. If you choose the next one, it plays on the other screen. And if you choose all devices, it plays on all three screens, of course. Now, the third one, I was like, well, usually it says HP 2011, which is the laptop. I thought it would be just this screen. But for whatever reason, it's now outputting to both screens, which is really cool. Of course, I did uh, force, I uh, used a custom resolution, which would be the 1280 by 800 times two, because that's just what these uh, screens do. Uh, so they're, they're 1280 by 800, so I just divided that or multiplied that by two, and that's how I came up with this. But yeah, so uh, if you choose the third option or just kind of play around with all your options to see which one it works for you, but it worked out really great for me. And also, too, I got my edge blending here, which is really cool. So you can see if I, I can do multiples here and we can do edge blending, which is pretty cool. That's if you're going to be overlapping projectors. But I'm not. My screens will be totally separate. So anyways, that's the preferences right there. So I wanted to show you here uh, what we've got going on. On my layers, I've got Def Leppard playing in this layer, Kiss playing in this layer, and then I've got some visuals down here. So you can see uh, what I did was in the this layer, I just did the preset of moved it to the left. So if I move it to the right, it'll play over there. So it's actually just playing on one stretched out screen, but by presetting the position size to where you want it, you can actually create a split screen or multiple screen output. So we'll go here again and go to left now and it'll pop up over here. And you can kind of see in my preview what's going on. See, that's my actual screen. So it's a, you know, 2560 by 800. So it's really wide. And uh, this is what we've got going on. So it's actually just positioning it over where I want it. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then let's go ahead and bring this guy back up a little bit. <clears throat> so then if you do, you know, use your mixer mode, you go A, you can have these guys crossfade on A. And then B, you can have some visuals in the background that span across the entire thing. So as you'll see here, do some morphing. I like that little morph effect. Now we've got visuals that are going across both screens. And uh, I thought that was really cool. Now, using the mixer mode, you can see up here as well. Where's my mouse? Okay. So you can see it here when I transition over. Oops, hold on. So you can see what's really going on there. So that's in the preview. Now, if you wanted to, and this is another cool way, is take off your layer priorities and just make them all on the same layer. So now when I bring down this one, you'll see the visual in the background. So I'm reducing the opacity of uh, the Def Leppard video. 
So you can see that in the background. If I bring down the opacity of KISS, now we both have them. So they're all layered. But now, let's have some fun. So let's go to our mixing mode for layer, or for this layer here. And we put a luminance rejection mask. So now you can see some of the visuals behind it. And we'll do that over here with this one, luminance rejection mask. Now you get some of the visuals there. Now this one's a, a letterbox format. So uh, what I would do here is actually just go to the size and bring the Z up so it zooms it in a little bit. And uh, it's at the end of the, the video. Hold on, it's gonna start over again. But you can see there, oh. Hold on, let's make sure that's good. Oh. See, I learned something new every day, too. Anyway, so now we've got full screen kiss with some cool background visuals. So if we take the layer mask off, or uh, the, the mixing, go back to replace. Now they're solid. Another way that you can get some cool layering here is to put the cube on. Let's give it, uh, so I'm doing the cube right here. Give it a little rotation. That's really fast. Slow it down. Zoom it back a little bit, move it over. So that's how you can get, you know, the, the visual on that layer and the spanning visual playing as well. So you can do that on both sides and it just looks really cool. But anyways, I just wanted to, this is not a quick video anymore, but I just wanted to show you guys um, what I've been doing. Because I don't want to bring out my big desktop, so I was just trying to see what can I do with this laptop. And uh, I, uh, I'm really happy with it. So I think I can do a lot with just this laptop. This thing's old. It's like 2011. But as long as you have DisplayPort and HDMI or multiple outputs, or outputs on your video, you can do a lot with this. So uh, just a fun little setup, and I'll have more after my gig next weekend. Ah, say bye to kiss.